lsfund.org. Dirty hippie. That's what I used to think of people who didn't support American soldiers. And in a way, now I'm one of them. Well, one of the people who sort of doesn't support the soldier's mission anymore. No, I, I haven't become a hippie. But I want to talk a little bit about why it is that people uh, like soldiers. No, I wasn't a soldier. I was a person who liked soldiers. Well, and I guess I still technically like individual soldiers, but I mean, I'm just not supportive of what soldiers of the United States do anymore. And I, I want to talk a little bit about Anyway, why I used to and why uh, so many people still do. Put yourself in the soldier's position for a second. Yes, it's true that you're receiving government money, but you're not receiving a huge amount, generally. And you're risking your life. Perhaps you are undertaking great sacrifices for whatever it is that, you know, something you believe in, I guess. People who haven't been through it don't understand you and can't fathom or relate to what you've sacrificed. Imagine coming home to streets that are occasionally filled with uh, people who are opposing what you, you did. You can see how that might be a, a source of anger for some, for some soldiers. They expect to be uh, thanked. And you can see maybe, again, kind of why they might want that. If they've been, they were told when they were in high school, that everybody wanted them to go out and kill people, that there was actually a cause worth killing for uh, the United States these days. And probably, you're like the rest of society, everyone's always 10 or 20 years behind in what they understand about what's going on. They, 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 all, you know, they say generals always fight the last war, but civilians are always thinking that they're in the last war, to the, the average American hasn't figured out, this is not the America of 1995. This is not the America that prevented genocide in Bosnia. This is not the America that saved Kuwait. This is not the America that won the Cold War or liberated Bergen-Belsen. This is a different America. And people are often slow to pick up on that. Uh, today's American soldier is much closer to being a, 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 a you know kind of like a, a, you know a Soviet soldier of, of, of the 70s or 80s than they are to being the American soldier of 1995. Americans know to be against the Soviet soldier of 1975, but they don't know to be against that when it's here. So there's there's just going to be a delay, uh, and eventually people will catch on and figure it out right about the time that the situation has completely changed again. <laughs> For instance, the country, it's conceivable, the country, you know, the U.S. may change. It may, you know, like Turkey after World War I, uh, under, underwent a major transformation and become became eventually a more benign country. Uh, that could happen here. But for the next 10 or 20 years, people will be assuming that the American soldiers are, you know, the, the heart of evil when they're not. You know, I mean, at some point, at some point that that either at some point it won't be that way anymore. And of course, again, the individual soldier, average soldier, no, they're not evil. But the strategic missions and the way they're carried out have become so tainted uh, that, that the soldiers are sort of now connected with evil. It's just, it's just like German soldiers in World War II, Soviet soldiers, uh, you know, all throughout. Not necessarily bad people, bad cause, bad actions. American soldiers used to be the people that prevented genocide, they prevented torture, they liberated countries that had been invaded, countries that welcomed Americans. If you just took away the fact that they were being paid with tax dollars, they're really, the, I don't see much to criticize there. If tomorrow there were an institution formed in the United States, uh, maybe it could even just be the, if, it could just be the U.S. military for all I'm concerned. If the U.S. military tomorrow were to start operating on a voluntary basis where they're just collecting donations like the Spitfire Fund back in World War II or... Uh, earning revenue, however a group earns revenue, and they weren't funding their operations through taxation, 
and they were doing the kind of thing that they did in 1995 in Bosnia or the kind of thing that they did in 1991 in Kuwait, I'm not I'm not sure I'd see much of a problem there. I think I would look at those guys as heroes. Anyway, I look forward to the day when we can have that again in America. And if not in America, then at least in New Hampshire. Anyway, uh, just a thought about soldiers. Someone once said that my reports are precise, that what I say is very precise, and I hope this is precise too. Even if I did just kind of compose it off the top of my head. Why is it that students have to be forbidden from recording in the buildings? Why does everyone have no comment on this? Are you as unhappy as I am about public schools and their treatment of students? Heck, some of them don't even want to talk about students' rights. The school district bans students from, from running video cameras, doesn't it? I'm not going to discuss this with you right now. But dozens of kids in the free state have escaped jail school because of the Liberty Scholarship Fund. LSFund.org. They're getting an education that looks more like this. But their liberation efforts will only continue with your involvement. Help LSFund.org. Strike the root of tyranny in the state where it really counts. Donate today.